Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to Metroid Zero Mission. So, today, the day I'm recording, I... My video from the previous game that I played, uh, gosh, what was it? Nyan MC's Netherite Quest released, and Nyan told me something that revealed that yes, it was indeed all my fault that I couldn't get past that question mark barrier in that one stage. I needed to update with a patch on a. Wait a second. I just realized I... Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Well, that was horrendous. Anyway. So, patch. I needed to get one in order to make those blocks work correctly. My intuition was that those blocks would just be something that I could, you know, pass through, but enemies couldn't. And my perception was correct. Now what if I do this? Yeah, take that. Oh no, get back! So today, I'm going to try and escape the crate area. Which reminds me, time to set my timer. Beep. Fifteen, and go. So yeah. Fly! Jump, jump. So, while I'm doing this, I suppose I'll talk about a... Oh, I know. How about I Am Setsuna? That game had issues, but I don't want to talk about those issues. I want to talk about the great ideas that I had and how I wish they had been better implemented. Because that game had a lot of really fun ideas. I I've played that game like two or three times because of all the potential that the ideas had. So, first off, it, it runs on, it's an RPG. It runs off of Square Enix's patented active time battle system. But it includes... Oh, something's happening. Horseshoe crabs in space. A very organic looking spaceship. Oh, yes, now I can go this way. Anyway, what was I yapping about? I am sensing it. Ooh, are you here to tell me where to go next? And on the one hand, I do want to know. On the other hand, I want to figure out for myself. On the third hand, I want healing. Norfair. Hmm. Wait a second. Wait a second. So that place where I want to use the high jump, could I instead use the shine spark? Anyway, I am Setsuna. Active time battle system. So. A lot of games with the active time battle system will start you off with fighting a boss that, uh... Okay. Alright, hold on a minute while I... Anyway, fight a bot. They'll have you fight a boss that teaches you, hey, sometimes you can... it's important to wait. And then that mechanic never shows up again. Huh, I didn't go far enough. Huh. This place is deliberately slightly too short for me to use the shy Anyway. So, 
what uh, most active time battle systems tell you is sometimes there is a reason to wait, but it's always an external reason. And then when you do have an internal reason to a character to wait, like with Cyan in Final Fantasy VI, yeah, I'm just going to keep call it 6 forever, even though it released in the U.S. as 3. It was actually number 6. Anyway. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. W when you have a character like Cyan, who's based on that, he turns out to just be not very good because of it. Because the combat system wasn't designed around that kind of feature, ability, whatever. So then you get a... The momentum, what was it, system, whatever, mechanic in I Am Setsuna, which constantly asks you to evaluate whether you should take your turn immediately or wait on it. Also, on top of that, uh, combo techs, which I first encountered in Chrono Trigger, apparently nothing in Chrono Trigger was new. But that's another discussion. I first encountered in Chrono Trigger, so that's where, in my head, it's from. Anyway, Combo Techs, Chrono Trigger. Those also show up in a I Am Setsuna, except they're way better. I don't know, once I uh, start crunching the numbers for the Combo Techs in Chrono Trigger. It just seemed like they were a lot of extra effort for not a lot of extra benefit. Ooh. Oh. Oh. This is probably deliberately set up so that you can't... Yep. Anyway. Yeah, the combo techs and I am sets in it are way better than the ones in Chrono Trigger, I feel. Yep, yep, this is set up such that, what if I instead go from this direction? Come on. Yes! No. Alright, so, there probably is a way to do this. I don't currently have the skill to do it, and I'm not willing to put the time in. So, moving on. Anyway, I am Setsuna. So, that's the second thing that I like about I am Setsuna. Combo techs. They were amazing, and I love them. I just wish the game was better. Anyway, enough about. So, momentum is constantly ask momentum plus combo techs are constantly asking you to evaluate whether it is a good idea to take your turn now or to wait. And I love when that becomes a constant tactical decision rather than an occasional one that is forced on you by outside forces like, oh hey look, this boss is hiding in its shell. And if you attack it, it will counterattack powerfully. What else do I like about Iron Setsune? I like the concept of a snow themed game. The actual execution was not as interesting as. It could have been, unfortunately. Oh, another thing I liked. The fact that enemies ha have guaranteed drops, and depending on how you kill a thing, you get different things. Like, kill it with this element, you get a different item than if you kill it with that element. Or, if it has a status effect, you'll get another item off of it. And that's really cool. Now, the question is, where does... Uh-huh.
So yeah, that was cool. And then there's the exact kill, where you kill an enemy within a few percent of its HP. Like, do damage within a few percent of its HP, and you'll get another rarer drop. And then you use these for crafting stuff. And I think that's cool. Now, since this is an RPG and you can level up, this means that uh, the exact kill mechanic... Oh, I go down through here, I see. Could have issues when, you know, you're killing enemies in one hit with your weakest attack in a way that makes it uh, impossible to get the exact kill. But there's another feature that they included to account for this. There's a town somewhere where you can have all the enemies set to your level. Or thereabouts. Take that. Now how do these doors open again? Huh. I thought for sure that I knew a way to open the green doors. I guess I was wrong. And now I'm trapped here unless I... Oh! Find a way to descend, which isn't going to be available through here, it looks like. So yeah, I am Setson. I had a lot of really cool ideas. And, uh, and I want to see a game execute on them better. Ooh! This! This also is a second reason why I think of getting more ball jump as soon as you get jump, high jump capability. And nope! Oh, that's even marked red on the map. How nice. But anyway, now I can go up to that place that I just tried to go through up at top of, where was it, Brinstar? Yeah, I can go up there with my high jump and get the item that I tried to get just a bit ago using the uh, Shine Spark. Hmm. Oh hey, this is probably going to tell me to go to that place, isn't it? Well, let me have a check. Okay, it, that's way farther over than I realized it would be. Oh my! So that... Whoa! I wasn't quite done exploring down there, but that red path tells me that I'll be back, so... I'll be back. But for now, I want to go get that thing that's been taunting me ever since I got Ice Beam. Hey, ya. Uh. And then continue my ascension. Just walk to left. I love how this game tells you about your capacity to do this. I also love how many secret abilities are in Metroid games, like the wall jump. 
Mm. Or the Shine Spark. I just wish that they would show them to you more often. You know, maybe they do. I mean, the Crystal Flash, for example, as it's known, was shown to us through a... Uh -huh. Aha! Is it possible to get a run? Yes. Close. Alright, let's see if I can get a run here. Anyway, the Crystal Flash was shown to us through a... Oh. 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 Oh, this is... This is crazier than I thought. Okay. Oh, and that's time. Ha! That's hilarious. And weird. No, oh, yeah, this game has so many things that require you to do stuff like that. With the Shine Spark. And yet yeah, it doesn't tell you the Shine Spark exists. Anyway, what I was saying about the Crystal Flash is that it shows it to you in the demo mode. Of, uh... Super Metroid demo mode? Whatever it is, where you, uh... Um... Come on, Rain. The attract mode, yeah, that's it. Where you just sit and watch at the title screen for a bit and then it shows you gameplay. You know, when I was a kid, I was terrified of the consequences of dying in video games. So I always, uh... Wait, oh, okay, that was not there. So, when I would rent games, I would actually spend more time watching the attract mode, and actually playing the game. Oh, what the? The X aren't here, how did that monstrosity get here? Oh, oh look at that. All those little bugs and... What the? All kinds of new stuff appeared here, out of the blue. Oh no. Okay, so... Sheesh. Okay, I can make it up here. I could have gone through here if I had the appropriate power-ups. Oh, oh, look. I love this little demo of how these things work. You can't go on until these things do their thing. And it shows you how to get out of here. And I love it. And then watch them go. Look at them go. Really making sure you know that mechanic. Which I think is a good thing. Alright, the Various Suit. As opposed to the Invariant Suit. Decreases damage taken from the enemies. Prevents damage from acid and heat. Excellent. Heal up. 
Weapons and energy fully restored. And... Nope. Alright, so now I can do this. And be fine. How do I get to that? Hmm. Aha! Really? Really, game? Yay, more energy tanks. Good, those things are scarce in this game. And with me being so bad at it... Well, mediocre, really. Alright. Ah, so many bugs. Alright, so, I'm going to go ahead and save now. Join me next time when I escape from here and go back into Norfair? Yeah, go back into Norfair to endure awesome heat. I'll see you then.